in the kitchen this morning and making almond muffins. I already made a batch and I thought, you know, I should probably bring you along for this. This recipe is excellent. Um, if you like really almondy muffins, this one is for you. The things we are going to need for this recipe are a quarter cup of melted butter, a half a cup of whole milk, about a half a teaspoon of almond extract, you can put a little more if you like, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We are going to use a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, one egg. Um, this is about two ounces of almond paste that I've chopped. You can buy it by the pie fillings. Um, also, almond pie filling, it's cake and pastry filling. This you can also get by your pie fillings in the store. Um, I always keep this in my cupboard. It's good for everything. Um, we're going to need three quarters cup of sugar, uh, a cup of sour cream, two cups of flour, and then I actually just got some sugar here that's the raw organic cane sugar and then some slivered almonds. This recipe goes pretty quick. I'm just going to put in my egg. Start mixing that. And my melted butter. Put all my wet ingredients in first. The milk. my almond paste, or I'm sorry, not the paste, the almond filling. If you like almond, you should really keep this in your cupboard. You can add this to so many things. You can use it for in the middle of your cake layers for filling. Uh, sometimes I mix it with buttercream frosting to make more of an almond frosting instead of just using almond extract. it has bits of almonds in there. Okay, add in my sugar and my sour cream. This is a pretty easy recipe. I was at my mom's a couple weeks ago and she had bought some almond muffins from Costco. And I love almonds so I, <laughs> I she gave me a muffin to bring home, and it was good, but I thought there isn't enough almond flavor in here. I can totally make some better with more almond flavor. I'm going to put in my extract. Here's my almond. So I came up with this recipe and I've been making it ever since. I love these almond muffins. Alright, I'm going to put in, try to eat, gotta try to break this paste up a little bit. It'll break up when you stir it. Just adds another level of really almondy flavor, especially when you get little chunks. I diced it into tiny little chunks. Now I'm going to add in my flour. You don't need to sift this, you can just toss it in. They're just muffins. And this is my salt in my baking soda. And my baking powder. And I'm going to switch to a spatula here. Or scraper. I don't want to over mix my muffins. There's nothing worse than a tough muffin. Or a tough piece of cake. <laughs> You don't want your baked goods that way. So you're going to stir it until it is just mixed in. Okay, that is good. And I am going to use muffin papers. Cupcake liners, whatever you want to call them. I hate having to scrub these things out. 
They always say nonstick. They're not that nonstick. <laughs> okay. Now these you really want to fill to the top. You don't want to do, when you make cake, you fill it about three quarters of the way full. These should be filled to the top. That way you get a good fill on them. Maybe not. Maybe 13. Baker's dozen, we'll call it. Okay. So I am going to just put sugar over. You can put it as little or as much as you want. And then I've got almonds. Also, if you want, you can mix in uh, poppy seeds if you really like poppy seeds, or you can put blueberries, blackberries, anything you like with almond. You can even add some lemon flavor if you like that. Okay, so these are going to go in my oven in the middle rack for 18 to 20 minutes. The muffins are out of the oven and they are beautiful. They're nicely domed and they smell so good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.